I wanted to talk about the offensive line. All right. Daniel Brunskill, remember when he started at tackle, yeah. he gave up zero sacks during his stand at tackle. That's right. And that's all you can ask for. Yes. That's you all know? you can ask for. I mean, the Niners' issues are pass protection. If they say, well, he's not, can't execute the outside, who cares? You have an issue with pass protection. That's the most important pass protecting position. Maybe that's his home. Yeah. He's definitely better than McGlinchey. Two guys I want you to watch in the draft. Okay. Coming up. One is the uh, Quinn Martinez or whatever, the UW uh, from Whitewater. Okay. And then the uh, guy from Clemson. Uh, let me pull it up just so I get his name correct. Um, well, not Clemson, but Georgia. Mm -hmm. Ben Cleveland. He okay. He's nasty. Okay. And he is – we would be able to get him at 40 uh, – the 43rd pick easily. Uh, pure nasty. I mean, I, okay. I told you before, it's loaded with offensive guards, centers, and stuff in this draft from two to four and everything. But uh, Do you think that 43 pick is a perfect spot for O-line? Perfect spot for O-line. Perfect spot for yeah. interior O-line. And if you bring in an interior guy, he's going to plug and play. That, that Ben Cleveland plug and play at left guard because okay. – you know, a lot of our fans and stuff like that think that we have a good left guard. We don't have a good left guard. He's below know. average. I yeah. put him at left guard probably 25th or so in the league out of 32. Only reason people don't talk about him is because Mike McGlinchey is a, the target. He takes all of the heat. But Lakin yeah. Tomlinson, if it weren't for McGlinchey, it would be Lakin. Yeah, and there's people that say, you know, Mike McGlinchey is probably the best right tackle at run. But if you if you number 32 at the pass, we don't need you. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. It's not 1994 yeah. anymore. It's a passing league now, yeah. and it's a spread league. I mean, if we rush the league. ball 100 times, 100 percent of the time, he'd be the best left ta uh, right tackle in the game. We and that's kind of what they did in 2019 because they were like never losing all season. But eventually, yeah. in the Super Bowl, it became past time, and he fell apart. Garland fell apart. Person fell apart. In the yeah, season, Daniel plug and play. I think yeah. he would be. I think he could probably be a potential All Pro eventually there. At, okay. At, uh, no, no, no. So, what, what, if you're thinking O line in round two, what are you thinking? What position in round one? Mac Jones, quarterback, or quarterback? quarterback. You got to go quarterback. You quarterback. cannot win with a guy that, if you were to bet in Vegas, I would bet Jimmy G would be injured next year again. You got about right, a 90% right. chance. Exactly. It's happen. Right. Same thing with. Uh, Why would you bet against that? You wouldn't bet against you that. You wouldn't bet against it. The odds no. say he's going to get injured. The same yeah. thing with Bosa. It's probably right. 80% odds he's yes. going to get injured too. Yes. And I also wanted to say something too about our uh, star linebacker, Fred Warner. Uh huh. If you can't sign Buckner at 21 million, you're not going to sign Fred Warner at 20. That's that's what I keep saying. Like, why is it? This is the same thing happening the next year. They're not going to change their mind because. Warner, I mean, what's the difference? They're both leaders. What position's more valuable, left tackle or a linebacker that are they're dime a dozen in my book? Yep, yep, you know, that's right. And they you got, gotta they get got, the left tackle situated, yeah. O line, you gotta protect your quarterback, linebacker. We can draft third round, fourth round, fifth round, and get somebody that's, I mean, I think Greenlaw's the best linebacker on the team. Well, uh, he Not might, good. he's fastest, he's the most violent. Um, better tackler. Yep. Always yep. in the play. Fred yep. Warner's better coverage guy. Yeah. But that's why we take care of the secondary. So we ain't got a linebacker trying to cover all these wide receivers. You know. I see it. So you think that the Niners will ultimately resign Trent Williams and not be able to give Fred Trent's Warner his money? Not going anywhere. Kyle and not in love. He's not going anywhere. I see. They're so, going to yeah. pay the money. Yep. You know, it's it's. It's just that they're going to be forced to do it. And remember, there's not many teams. Uh, let me pull up the cap situation. There's not many teams at all. And plus, like New Orleans, they're going to have to release their left tackle because he's the guy, yeah. uh, he has how much dead money? Uh, $4 million dead one. money, and they can yeah. save uh, right at $12 million. Yep. They're still so. 60 some million over the cap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you think about that. There's yeah. not going to be many people playing in free agency. And people that's like true. Trent Williams, they may think they're going to get big money. There's going to probably be five or six players that's going to get the big money from the top four or five teams. Then it's dead. That's a good point. There's going to be a point. lot of one-year deals hoping the cap jumps big time next year again 
Then they'll go out and get their extended. Deal. So hold on. How do you think that the Fred Williams, uh, the Fred, the Fred, Fred Warner, Warner. Uh, situation plays it's exactly the same? A trade right before the draft, right before the draft. Right before the draft. Be traded. For for a mid first, and then the Niners will package that with their twelve. I say move up and get... first and second. Okay, so the Niners will package those picks and move up for a quarterback, or they'll just who knows what they'll do if they were smart. Yeah. The best player in the draft is the wide receiver from Alabama. He he reminds me of uh, Marvin Harrison. He's that guy's really good. He's yeah, nasty. He's good. Yes, yes. And yes. I, I mean, if if you're gonna get a quarterback, why not put the uh, the guy who Mac played Jones with him in college? Yeah, back with Smith again. Yeah, yeah. And Brandon Ayuk, nasty. Yeah. It would be a nasty <sighs> combination. All right, we got to talk soon about getting my articles on your. Uh, on yeah, your, I'm, your I'm posting them on there now too. Oh, so thank I see you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man.